Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Of course, I'm also known as ETCG1 because I post videos on this channel called ETCG1. And when I post videos to this channel, I start them off with, hey, if it is your birthday, I want to wish you a happy birthday and offer you this electronic cake to enjoy. Who do I call today's topic? How deep does the rabbit hole go? Or I sort of covered this last time when I, when I did the Fairmont project. It's like project cars over budget, that type of thing. But it's, it's interesting because it, it's a mentality that you, that you fall into when you, when you build something. You have a vision in your head and, and you want to move forward and you want, it to be, you want it to be realized in the real world. Here's my story. So I'm working on the truck and I'm doing the interior and I'm installing the radio. And I'm thinking, all right, and I don't have a lot of time for this build, okay? The way this is now, I have 13 days left to put the engine together and get it back together and running. 13 shop days, I should say. And I might be able to stretch that a little bit, but for the most part, that's what I have scheduled. A lot of work to do in a short period of time. Therefore, everything that I do has a time limit on it. It has a time constraint. So I have to, I have to budget, budget my time. Anyway, so I'm wiring up the radio and I've got the speakers put in, I've got the radio put in, it's virtually complete. And there's one last thing, the, the radio that I'm installing has hands-free, so there's a microphone that needs to go up on the sun visor, you know, up, up by the driver's side. I have the same setup in the Ford, it's kind of awesome. Anyway, I go to put that in, and I need to run the wire for the microphone up through the A-pillar, which is that little plastic piece between the windshield and your, your driver's window. And I realized that all the plastic that's there is all interconnected and I have to remove a bunch of stuff to get the A-pillar piece off so that I can get this wire, one wire, one microphone to go in there. Well, I'm in the process of doing this and the headliner is coming down because I took away so much of the stuff that holds it in place. I virtually have the headliner out and the headliner in this truck has always been junk since I got it. I mean, dad, probably got fed up with it and peeled it down. I mean, headliners from this era, late 80s, 90s, ugh, garbage. They, they just fall down, they sag. So the fabric was torn off, whether it was done by dad or the previous owner, it's hard to say. Anyway, headliner looks like garbage. And I'm thinking, I don't have time for the headliner right now that's cosmetic, I just need this thing to run. Headliner comes down and I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, maybe I'll go to the craft store and pick up some fabric and some adhesive and spray it on there and make my own headliner and that'd be a cool video. And I'm thinking, you don't have time for that. You've got to get this flipping thing done. I'm like, all right, well, what's another solution? Another solution, spend more money. And that's kind of what this video is about. So I look up online, find a headliner for the truck about 220 bucks. Like, all right, fine. And then I realized, okay, well, I have the headliner out. Well, I might as well put some insulation up above the headliner because I, I did that on the Ford and it's also quite awesome. There's, there's special headliner that you can put in to the roof. Well, not headliner, special. It's like, well, it's Eastwood x Mat is what I'm using and they have different types for different areas of the vehicle. And this stuff is specifically for the roof or under hood. And like I said, got it in the Fairmont, love this stuff. So I ordered some of that up and that was another $40 or whatever it was so I could insulate that. Now, I'm not pulling the carpet out because I don't have to, but at some point I'd love to pull it out and put the X mat on the inside of that and the inside of the cab and everything and insulate that whole thing, inside of doors, all that. Did that to the Fairmont, love it, absolutely love it. It's a very nice place to be when you shut the doors, it's amazing. But here I am trying to one, run one wire for one microphone for a radio that I already spent money on into this truck. And here I am, well, at 220 plus the 40, you know, I guess. here I am almost 300 bucks by the time I'm done. Well, hang on, I haven't got the other part yet. So then I realize, all right, if I'm putting a new headliner up there, I can't really take the dingy old sun visors and put them on this new headliner. So I gotta get sun visors. And sun visors were like 50, 60 bucks, something. No, wait, I think they were actually like, maybe close to 90, I'm not sure. Don't remember. Point is, Here's more money. And that's, that's what happens with this. Like you get committed as you're working along and you're, you're already into it more than you, know, you wanted to to begin with. And then something like that happens and it snowballs. In fact, I was talking to my machinist. In fact, you know him, he's Kevin Frischy from Calvin Area Engines. I'm talking to him about stuff going on with the engine. He's telling me about a customer of his that took these aftermarket heads and bolted them onto his, his engine or wants to bolt them onto his engine, send them to the machinist, uh, Kevin finds issues with those and he needs to replace like the valve retainers and all that kind of stuff. 
Well, in these particular cylinder heads, they use seven millimeter valves. So the valves are really teeny tiny and kind of a weird size. So it's not something you just grab off the shelf and put it together. You have to order it special. And this to this guy, I think was going to be another like four or 500 bucks just in other parts. And he's like, ah, just go ahead. Cause you, you just give up. You get to this point where you're like, I'm so close to the finish line, or at least you think you are. You're so close to the finish line and you're like, oh crap, I've got to spend more money. And that, that's just how this is. And it's, it's just, it's a, it's a money suck. It's a time suck. It's just what it does. And I'm not saying I don't love it because I'm loving how this truck is coming together. I'm loving how it's turning out. I, you know, I'm really happy with it and I can't wait for dad to get in it and drive it and enjoy it. I, that's what, that's my goal. My goal is to give my dad something really cool to drive that, you know, has my name on it and he can go to our car shows on the power tour and just be proud. That's, that's what I'm looking for. But here I am, like I said, pushing, grinding, trying to get it done and bam, there's more money to spend. So I, I, I don't even know what the title of this video is going to be, but it, it has something to do with the, what I just discussed, which is like this, you get into this hole. How deep does the rabbit hole go? That's, that's what we'll call it. How deep does this rabbit hole go? And I, I'm, tell me in the comments, have, have you been there? Have you, have you started on something? And it doesn't necessarily have to be a vehicle. It, it could be a house project or something. Maybe you wanted to build a shed and then you found out, well, the HOA is not cool with it or something. You, you built it on top of a sinkhole. I, I don't know. The, the point is, is like you start off with an idea and you think you're going good. And then bam, you realize, oh geez, more money needs to come out of my pocket. And that's, I guess that's what we do. I, I guess that's why we do this. So share with me your story, share with me why you keep doing it, why, why you keep torturing yourself. Or maybe you stopped, maybe you quit, maybe you wised up and said, you know what? I've done this enough, I'm done with this. Goodbye. Whatever you decide, that's what the comments are for. If you have automotive questions, I ask that you head to airatthecarguy.com. That will be linked down in the description. Uh, I also link additional materials and videos, including the one I mentioned earlier to talk about, you know, similar topics if you're interested. Please comment, like, subscribe these videos. I'd appreciate it if you did. And uh, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I will see you next time on another episode of ETCG1, which comes out on Mondays, by the way. Just putting that out there in case you're looking for your birthday wish. Make sure it's on a Monday. See you then.